Welcome to Bishop Carroll Television, Carroll's premier news network, with anchors Andreas Lara and Raymond Avalar, Matthew on the sports, Malone with the updates, investigative reporter Daniel, and on-field reporters Anna, Katie, and Ryan. Good morning, and welcome back to another episode of BCTV. I'm Raymond Avalar. And I'm Andras Lara. Today we're going to start with a topic that has recently surfaced in high schools around the world. Did you know, since 2015, more than a quarter of underaged high school students have tried a form of this at least once? Let's take a look. <laughs> what exactly is a jewel? A jewel is a it's a name brand of an e-cigarette, an electronic cigarette. And it's, um, it looks like a flash drive. It um, has colorful little pods that you put on the flash drive. It re the battery recharges and, um, and you can smoke it. What exactly are negative side effects to your body or something like that? Well, for a high school kid and a middle school um, student the problem is is that the brain is still developing and um, when you have um, high concentrations of nicotine on a developing brain it, it causes addiction even harder addiction than if you were to start as an adult and um, it's just basically very similar to smoking they should say that there have been one out of six students in just one month that have actually used Jewel. What exactly are the consequences of jeweling in the school? So consequences include um, immediate suspension. It's a one day in school suspension and then we ask the students um, and their parents to get a drug test and if the drug test comes back clean then the suspension, the one day suspension is it. If it doesn't come back clean then we move on to um, the consequences for drug usage and that's three to five days out of school suspension and monthly drug testing. Um, right now, our young people um, that are jeweling are the guinea pigs. Um, so you guys are the research subjects, and then I'm sure they will find out later on, because we know how bad nicotine is, um, the consequences of how bad it is for you guys. Thanks, you guys. If you have a problem and want to seek help, contact our school nurse. On a less serious note, do you ever wonder how many people really know their geography? It turns out, not as many as you would think. Let's take it to the students and see what they've got. Can you name a country besides America? Canada. <laughs> Can you name another one? Mexico. Can you name another one? No. Can you name a country besides America? And point to it. Where? Oh. <laughs> that one? <laughs> what is it called? South America? Oh, wait, no, 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 no. No, um. Canada. Yes. <laughs> okay, okay. Uh, <laughs> Africa. <laughs> that's a continent, and that's not Africa. <laughs> Can you name another one? Uh, <laughs> no. <laughs> that's okay. Russia. It's Zambia and South Africa. Ooh, nice. This here is Japan, Egypt, England, North Korea. South Very nice. I don't know anymore. All right, good job. This is Mexico. Yes. Can you name another one? Oh my gosh. Uh, Greenland? Yes. Yes, yes. correct. Woo! Okay. Here at Bishop Carroll, we've had a great start to our fall athletics. Now on to sports with our very own Matt Kelly. Girls tennis is 7-1 in duels and second in the City League. The girls took second at the collegiate tournament this past weekend. Girls cross country won the BC Invitational in Heston and took first at the Southeast Invitational. Matt Harding placed 18th in the Rimrock Invitational, followed by Carson McCahern at 100th and Jack Pate at 117th. The boys took third at the Southeast Invitational. Girls Golf took first at the Arc City Invitational and second at Auburn Hills and Clapp this past week. They also took fifth out of 12 teams at Sim Park on Wednesday the 26th. Boys Soccer won their game against Northwest 5-0, but lost their game to Cape in 3-1. That makes them 7-3 this year and 4-1 in the City League. Congrats to varsity goalkeeper Braden Huslig, who broke the school's record for the most City League wins. Volleyball won their matches at Olathe East and has a record of 4-1. and 
Football lost their game against Derby last Friday, making their record 2-2 two two this year. Make sure to catch the game tonight at Great Bend. That wraps up sports. Let's swing it over to Ryan and Katie with lunchroom interviews. Mark, what do you like on your sandwich? Uh, I like bread on my sandwich. That's a very good part. What's your biggest addiction? Uh, sour candies. Sweet. What's your favorite Chipotle order? Um, I've never been to Chipotle, so... Do you have any ghost stories? One night, I was doing homework, and um, my cat, I hear meowing at my back door. I have a cat, right? So I hear meowing at my back door. And um, I go to look, but there's no cat there. And I even like open the door and go outside. And then, um, so I go back to doing my homework, and then like a second later, I hear meowing again. And then there's my cat, just right there, standing there. It spooked me. Wow, that was really scary. <laughs> Do you like pineapple on pizza? Uh, no, I think I prefer banana. As you know, our homecoming dance is coming up on October 13th. We are excited to announce that this year's theme is Magic Carpet Ride. We thought you might like a quick preview of this year's homecoming activities. Let's turn it over to Malone to see what's in store for us. Hi, this is Malone here with all the tips that you need for a successful homecoming week. Monday is community day, so wear your community shirts. Also, don't forget to wear blue jeans with no holes or rips. Tuesday is Seasons Day, so dress up in your favorite season. Free donuts will be passed out in the Commons before school. And don't forget to stop by the library after school to participate in the costume contest for Eagle Cup. Junior and Senior Girls Powder Puff Practice is Monday and Tuesday night from 6.30 until dark. You must attend one in order to play. The Powder Puff game is Wednesday night at 7 o'clock, followed by the open mic night until 10.30. On Wednesday, dress up as a twin with your best friend. Thursday is Vine slash Meme Day, so dress up as your favorite Vine or Meme. The Golden Eagle Jamboree is Thursday night from 6 to 8 outside the AC. The parade starts at 6.30. Friday's theme is Ultimate Pride, so dress up and show your eagle pride. Tickets for Saturday night's dance will be sold during all lunches for $7 and $9 at the door. The homecoming dance is Saturday night from 8.30 to 11.30 in the cave. Remember that the dress attire is semi-formal and don't forget to dress modestly. That's all I have for homecoming events and I hope you all have a great week. Hey Gavin, what's today's schedule? It's screen extended schedule! What's for lunch, Gavin? Lunch today is pizza with barbecue beef as a house sandwich. Homecoming week's coming up. Isn't there an inflatable obstacle course? Yeah, there is. What are they supposed to have for that, Gavin? Students must have a permission slip signed by a guardian. Hey, where can they get those? Our copies are in the main office and outside room 111. Is that it, Gavin? Not yet. If you want to participate in the homecoming parade, you got to sign up in room 111. That's it? That's all I got. Now let me go back to work, please. That concludes this week's broadcast. Thanks for watching. Be sure to follow us on Twitter at bcchs underscore TV. And have a great Friday, Eagles.